Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. David Curry. This is part two on a series of videotapes that I'm going to create regarding sciatic neuralgia, otherwise known as sciatica. Yesterday in the uh, video recording that we did, I described the condition of sciatica. Today I want to describe a little bit more of the etiology, which in doctor terms that means where this originally comes from. And, and uh, So let's just describe a little bit of that. I have a plastic model of the spine here. I want to turn it around and look at the uh, what the spine looks like from the rear, from the hind. And uh, this bone that you're seeing here, the, the uh, crest of the ilium, this is what they call the ilium bone, uh, one on each side, this is your, your pelvic area. And then in between is a large bone called the sacrum. So there's a joint in between, which I'm pointing to right now, that's called the sacroiliac joint. And when you raise and lower your legs, this joint comes into play like this. So as you walk, this joint comes into play. Now I'm going to turn the spine back around to the front view. So this will be the front view here. And what I want you to see is the rest of the spine is made up of vertebrae. There's actually 24 different vertebrae all stacking up on top of each other. And they're sandwiched in between with these what's called the discs. Now the reason why I share this with you, I want you to understand, is that most of the time a sciatic, uh, sciatica is caused by a disc putting pressure on a nerve. Most of the time it's going to be the very bottom disc that will be, because most of the fibers that, that involve the sciatic nerve come out of the very bottom. This is what our experience has been. So one of the things that I look for when I look for a pa uh, examine a patient who has sciatica is I ask them questions that would make me want to start to look more towards the lumbar spine for the discs or for the sacroiliac joint. So let me just review quickly what some of the most important things are that I look for. And those are, number one, I would look for if they have disc involvement, their pain would be more worse when they actually sit or getting up from sitting. If the pain is aggravated by walking, that's because they're raising and lowering their legs, and that's bringing into play again the sacroiliac joint. So these are some of the things that we look at. If it's worse when they sit, if it's worse when they get up from sitting, or if it's worse when they walk, that's a real key indicator of, of trying to help me identify where is the source of the problem coming from. So again, this is Dr. David Curry. You have a great day.